In this section, we define uh, how we record taxes in QuickBooks for your online orders. Now, before we get into details of how we record taxes, we need to see uh, QuickBooks, what are the different ways we can record taxes in QuickBooks. Let's look at two invoices in QuickBooks, number 571, 4571 and 4572. In 4571, we record tax as a line item in the invoice itself. In this case, if we record tax as a line item in QuickBooks, QuickBooks allows us to specify the exact amount of the tax the exact tax amount that we want to record. Let's look at the second invoice. In this case, we do not record tax as a line item. Instead, we record tax here at the bottom in the tax dropdown. If we select the tax name in this case, QuickBooks calculates the tax amount based on the percentage that you have defined in your QuickBooks file for that tax name. So to summarize, there are two ways to record taxes in QuickBooks. The first is to record tax as a line item, in which case you can specify the exact tax amount that you want to record. And the second way is to record tax at the bottom as a tax dropdown, in which case QuickBooks calculates the tax amount. Now let's go back to T-Hub. So of course the first option uh, here is to say a sales tax not applicable if you do not charge any sales tax on your website. You don't need to set up any of these and just say sales tax not applicable. Let's say you do charge sales tax on your website and you want to record them in QuickBooks. Here are the two options. You can say record exact tax amount calculated from your website as a line item in QuickBooks transaction. Now to record the tax as a line item, you need to specify the name of the tax to use in QuickBooks. Even if you charge taxes on your website, there could be transactions for which there is a tax applicable and there are others for which there is no tax applicable. So we need to handle both situations. So in this example of uh, recording tax as a line item, you need to specify two tax names, one for the taxable sales and the other for the non-taxable sales. So let's see how this works. Uh, so you select a tax name, let's say sales tax, to record tax for the orders that do have a tax on it. And for orders that do not have a tax on it, we need to specify a tax name for which there is no, there is a 0% tax defined in QuickBooks. So let's look at QuickBooks one more time. Go to your item list. If you look at sales tax, I have defined a 8.125% sales tax, but the out of state tax name, I have defined it as 0%, which is no tax applicable for out of state. So in T-Hub, I select sales tax as the name of the tax to record for taxable sales and out of state as the name of the tax for non-taxable sales. So with these options, if there is an online order and it has a tax on it, T-Hub will record the tax as a line item in QuickBooks with the tax name as sales tax. Going back to the example that we saw before, it would be recorded as here. So T-Hub will record the uh, sales tax as a line item and note that T-Hub will also mark the tax dropdown as out of state because T-Hub does not want QuickBooks to recalculate the tax and add to the tax amount on the transaction. If there was no tax on the order, then T-Hub would not record this line and instead it would just mark the out of state tax in the tax dropdown. Let's look at the second example. So here we tell uh, QuickBooks to record tax not as a line item, but record tax at the bottom by selecting the tax name, in which case let QuickBooks calculate the tax amount. Now note, in most uh, accountants are familiar with this option, but it does mean that the amount of tax calculated by QuickBooks may differ slightly from what you actually calculated on the website and charged the customer. 
With that in mind, with this option, again, you need to select two tax names, one to record the taxable sales and the one to record the non-taxable sales. So here, let's go back to our example of 572. So if there is a tax on the order, T-Hub will record the tax as the tax name under the tax dropdown here. And if there was no tax on the order, it would set the tax as out of state, which is the non-taxable tax name we selected in T-Hub. A further addition to the setup we just did is to specify a tax name based on the shipping state for the order. Now, it's, in many cases, you may ha just have one state to pay taxes to, but in some cases, you may have uh, multiple states where you need to pay sales tax. In those cases, you would just click on this button here and specify the tax name corresponding to each shipping state. So let's say we ship to California. We need to pay a tax in California, which is a CA tax. And if we ship to New York, we need to pay the New York tax. So with that setup, uh, the tax by state will override my tax settings here. So now if there is a tax on the online order, T-Hub will pick the tax name based on the shipping state that is there on the online order. That completes the tax setup in T-Hub.